Hello, Table Talk. Uh, today, our power word will be run. And I selected this word because of my new founded behavior after I started changing my life. Later in life, I started doing everything for the better going forward. Like I really started uh, caring about my future, started caring about how uh, my reputation looked, started caring about what my business would look like and how do I get things started. And I started to just run, not physically, Physically, it was easy. I just put some gym shoes on and just run and then I clear my head, but it was more so internal. I was running internally, meaning I was putting everything in order. I was saying, okay, I wanna write a book. How do I write a book? I started outlining how uh, the message that I was trying to send, how did that look? and and how I was going to uh, gather that data and make sure that the information was powerful enough to change uh, lives with the experience that I went through. That's one of the ways. So I had to really do some internal investigation to get that information. So me running was just, it was, not only physical, it was mental, it was internal reflection. And re remember, one of, reflection was one of our power words before. See, these words are power words because they are connected. And when they are connected, they are powerful because you place them in areas of your life that you need to better. So my thinking is my book was important, so how can I make uh, uh, that information important? And also my business was important. So how can I make my business important? Believe it or not, it all started with me fixing my credit. I had the worst credit imaginable because I never knew how to uh, take care of my money. I didn't know how to save my money. And I had uh, four children to feed. So I didn't really, I wasn't concerned about the future at that time. I was more concerned about the present moment, feeding my children, clothing my children, making sure they had their needs met at that present moment. So me saving was, was kind of like a joke. I was like, I can't save any money. I need it for right now. So I let my credit lapse and I was being very irresponsible for it. You know, and having a bank account, please have a bank account. Never, never knew that some of this stuff would come back to haunt me and uh, come back to uh, bite me in the derriere because now if you notice everything is kind of because your credit is at a certain level you know people see you as a trustworthy individual I didn't know that back then but I know it now because now my credit is good but it took years years but before I even started tackling cleaning up my credit so I can have a good business, I had to have an internal talk. My internal talk to me was, what do you want to do going forward? Now that you have got your mind out of balance, what do you want to do going forward? Do you want to be a ambassador for others going forward? If that's the case, you have to do some things that display that you are going forward and not backward. So that means I have to say, hey, to those creditors, look, let's do a payment plan. 
Let's do some negotiations. Let's do something that'll, that'll get me on your good side so I can wipe this stuff clean. So then I had to do some studying. I did not want to do studying, I'll tell you that. So these are these are the running, the power word run. This is how you run. You run. In your mind, you put things in order and you run after it. You school, you put it in your mind and then you run after it. A, bit, a good job, you put it in your mind and then you run after it. But until you get to that goal, you have to be comfortable where you are. You have to be comfortable at that present moment. Okay, you had a you had an unhappy job now, but that's just now. You're running after something greater than what you are now. So take this power word, apply it to where you need it, and let it be power for you going forward. Thank you so much. Until next time, stay healthy.